let's talk about some of these numbers. Now, as you're growing your account, you've got to make a decision on when you're going to move up your position size. By the t if you remember from our first example, by the time you get here to about $15,000, this is when you can trade one regular lot uh, or 10 mini lots. By the time you get into this area here, 34, 36,000, this is where you can trade two regular lots or 20 mini lots. I like, I like trading the 20. Remember when I talked about uh, the positioning and the position sizing sections, um, what I was looking at was being able to take off 80% and leaving 20% on. That's a, a very critical factor when you're talking about uh, momentum style of trading because we want to be able to take off the bulk of our position as soon as we get some profit and then leave a small position on uh, to hopefully take advantage of any of the upcoming run. This is why in the beginning stages, um, it's if you have a broker that will let you trade with micro lots, if you're trading with 10,000 or less, instead of uh, you know trading maybe even just three mini lots, you can trade 30 micro. See that? So it's the same. You're still going to be 30 micro equal three mini, and remember this is going to be three dollars per pip. A regular is going to be $10 per pip if you're trading one regular or 10 minis. But if you're trading these 30 micros, now you're going to be able to take off 80%. Because how do you take off 80% of three? It's just very difficult. But as soon as you break into this region here, this is where you can start increasing your position size even more. By the time you get down here, uh, you can start pushing three regular lots or 30 minis. And now is, this is where you really start getting into uh, the, the, the compounding effect. Now, we'll go out to 36 months. And, and the reason why I'm doing this is so that you, you can see firsthand some of the potential that's available as a professional trader. Now, again, remember, this, this assumes that you're, you're having consistent results uh, each and every month. So where this 15%, it, it doesn't change up or down. And in real life, you're going to have some months where you make less, some months where you make more. Uh, it's very rare that you're going to have every single month come out at exactly 15%. Okay, so remember that. But let's take a look at this. Now, if we kept growing the account, by the time we hit 36 months, we'd be at $108,000. We'd have $16,000 for that month in total profit and an $8,157 paycheck. Okay, remember, this is the paycheck. This is where we really start getting into life-changing money for just about everybody. Um, you know, this is now where we're getting into the doctor kind of money. Uh, this is where people can start, somebody can stay at home, you can start paying off a lot of your debt, paying off your house, your car. Uh, saving up to move into a bigger house, that kind of thing. Get, get your kids into college. Th that's This is what we're after here. We're after consistent profits and conservative money management. At no time are we taking big risks to do this. Now, let me let me pause here, and, and I want to talk to you, uh, uh, you know, face-to-face. -face. If, if I could talk to you face-to-face, -face, this is exactly what I would tell you. Everybody wants to wake up rich. I mean, let's face it. The, the best thing in the world would be if we woke up and we hit the lottery and we had 20 or $30 million in the bank. Uh, it's because it doesn't take any work and, and it's, it's, it's immediate. It happens right away. So when you first start trading, because we hear the stories of people making 20 and $30 million a year, because we hear stories of um, you know guys who 